Greetings, AC here, and here we are, start of a new temporary series, perhaps? I have my window open because it's getting warm. I have to adjust it every so often. So, with that, here we are, city skylines. Maybe temporary, it's probably going to be sticking around until... A couple of episodes of Satisfactory and then back to this when all the content runs out. That's what I'm kind of going to be doing with this one. So, just for general information, here we are. These are all the DLCs I have. It's basically all of them, bar some of the freebies, because I just didn't want them. I got the European Suburbia, because that's a, a look that I want to go with this series. Uh, I do not have Disasters, neither do I have Campus, because it's just released. To date this video, I am recording this on Monday, 27th. So, it's out, I just haven't bothered to pick it up yet. <laughs> not entirely sure whether I will or will not pick it up. Next thing to have a look at, here we are, yes. Mods. I have find it mod or well when I eventually do start dealing with prettifying and props and stuff, which I still need to find on the workshop. I have no flowers or pretty trees or anything like that. <clears throat> Improve public transport, because this is gonna be a mass transit orientated thing. At least I'm gonna try. Loading screen mod. Mod listings. Move it mod. That's handy. Net picker. Basically allows you to go, what's this road type? Click. Oh good, right, I'll carry on building with that. Network extensions too for loads more roads. Maybe a bit buggy. Apparently. Perhaps not. I haven't had it heard any issues yet. Parallel road tool. Because Nobody likes having to manually draw two-way highway or motorway, which is what it's going to be called now. Precision engineering, because I like lots of things. I like lots of information while I'm building. Funny about, you know, doing perfect right-angle curves and stuff like that. The roundabout builder, because, well, when you need to replace that, that T-junction or box junction with a nice, perfectly done... Pre set up roundabout, you just come to this tool, click roundabout, because everybody knows roundabouts are better. Transport manager, because the AI is crap. Anybody who's watched any videos will know the AI loves to pick one lane over everything else, even if it's not the direction it wants to go in. Cognable whiteness. Yeah, I'll be struggling with that. You know, oh, you want to build a road. Here, I'm going to turn everything white so you can see your traffic overlay while you're building a road. Or a pathway. Kind of want to see the ground. Yeah, making things look pretty. Because I don't want to deal with resource management. Just if I ever do oil or ore, I don't want it disappearing part way through. Yes, it'd be more realistic. This is a city builder, not a resource manager or an RTS. Yeah. Unlimited soil because why? Why not? <laughs> yes, it's just landscaping. How am I going to completely cause a tsunami somewhere by accidentally landscaping if I don't have unlimited soil? That's going to happen. We all know I'm going to make some catastrophic balls up. Probably when I'm putting in a dam somewhere. And the whole place is going to get flooded and people are going to scream and moan at me. And the watch it so I can have all the important stats right down the right hand side of the screen. So when power, when power starts to fail, I don't have to watch the little icons pop up. I can see it there and it starts blinking at me. 
And that's that. I do have some assets. I have a whole load of different tram rows because I was going to go tram heavy. Or partially. That was the plan. I came up with some things in my testing one. I also have a whole load of these. I haven't turned them on yet. I'm not sure about them. They look nice, but some of them are really long. And then there's a whole load of other stuff that's been added in via mods. I got some train. I got some train-based intersections. All way there. The trains. And I have another one for trains as well, which is a diamond. A diamond triangle-based one. Yeah, it does that kind of thing. Bit strange. There's also a normal road paste. Scanning through here. It's just lots of stuff that, yeah, it's mostly trams. Mostly tram lines. Here it is. The high speed train link. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? And one of the other ones. There we go. Four way in section. Lovely. I will be using that later on. Playing that. When the time comes. But with all of that, that's basically all I've got. As you can see from my assets, I have no trees. I have no prettiness. I need to find. That'd be entertaining. Sifting through the workshop trying to find pretty trees. Now I would here we go. What we're gonna do. We're not gonna actually do a load a new game because I actually got a save. But Go with buildable area. Eden Valley is the one I picked. Left hand traffic obviously has already been turned on. And I've already named it. Just to demonstrate that. There we go. This is the map I have chosen to start with. Both the game. Ignore, ignore this one. Ignore this. This, this was learning. Learning that a very big lake of output. Here we are. See? Yes. Yes, it's called Morporkia. Um, you can put it in the comments if you catch the reference. Congrats to you. But no themes. Nothing. Simple. It's the bog standard map here. I basically just plonked it in and then saved it. Cloud saved it, so, you know, if anything happens, I won't lose the series, which is good, I guess. Either way. Right, here we are. Now loaded. Any sips of tea later and a loading screen, which I'll cut out for you guys. Here we are. We're in here. Now then. General overviews for the series. There is going to be most likely residential. I may put a mass transit sort of hub up here. So all the public transport will sort of connect up here. Uh, I was going to put industry and commercial up here. So you basically go up one. Using that special interchange I already have. Place that one. Because if I do it right and I put industry either on this side or on this side, I can either replace that or add in a new one here to give it a direct feed. I don't have to come up here. You know. Lots of different ways in. There's also a train line just there. Which is nice. I can get power from up here. I was contemplating putting a, you know, a big sort of monument type thing up here, uh, just as an excuse to use a uh, rail car, not a rail car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a thingy, a cart suspended on a rail on a line, cable car. There we go. I got it eventually. I mean, it, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I should be awake by now, but apparently I'm not. 
Ugh. I'm bad. Names, words, and things. Atrocious. But for the time being, it's probably going to be more power. Uh, initially, probably going to have industry over here until I can shift it up here. Commercial will be in with the residential at first until I can rework it all and get that shifted out there with transport links and under roads so they don't have to go onto the junction just to go across. They take the link under. If you want to go from this side, this side, you don't have to go through and along with all this traffic and all that. You can just go yoink underneath. If you're using the public transport, you get on here and then you just go on. Or there'll be a mass transit link, probably a metro when I unlock it. But at the moment, it's lots of mouse wiggling and not a lot of doing things. So what are we going to do? We're going to do things. Well, apparently I can't do anything until I put in a road. So that's the way this game works. Can't really do much. These are ones that have been added. So what I'm going to do... Put in the tiniest road possible. Just to sort of... Get it going. Oh yeah, no, that, that's, that's the thing over here. That's what I'll... Also, do good. Standard radio. Nice. Safe. Water. Uh, is there any water flow here? Oh, there is. It's running this way. You just can't see the arrows. Here we are. Right. Output. There. Input. Oh, look, now, now it's showing up. What? Hey, game. Gonna be like that, is it? Roger that. Firstly, what we do is we connect that to there. That gives us a nice backbone to basically base everything in. It's cool. Next thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need some power. Now, I can actually use wind because all of this section up here, down here, is going to produce maximum wind power. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it up there. Just the one for now, that's all I need. If I need more, stick more on. Easy. That's how this game works, right? If you need more, stick more in. But firstly, we've got to deal with this. It's going to be coming on and off here. You don't want to butt it straight into your city. because That just leaves the traffic jams. No, 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 no. We're going to do the totally original English method of this. Called, we're going to stick around about it. I need a one, three lane. Ah, this is what I was talking about before as well. It pulls up the traffic one. Ah, toggleable whiteness. Thank you. I actually like to see green. And I also like to be able to see the road directions. That is a three lane. Do I have a three lane one way? That's four lane. Would you look at that? Three lane one way. Hmm. Handy that, huh? Let's see. How big are we going to have to put in this major roundabout? Not here. It's going to start here, and we're going to go, what? 20 units round? Oh, it's not going to tell me what kind of angle I'm at. Never mind. Yeah. Here's up. 20 units. Probably a bit big, actually. Scratch that. Ten units. That's more like it. 
about the same size as the junction wall. That's fine. Down 10 units, and you go across. It's sort of perfect. Next thing, let's take some really budget roads. I mean, flip it back to straight tool. Thank you. Back to there. Back to there. This is a little tip I learned from Biffa, actually. It's one of the things he says. In a roundabout, cross brace it. You don't want it changing size and shape when you connect more things to it. Great. So what we now do, go back to the road we had. From here, out to about. I will make that look better later. Now you might think, well, how can you make that look better? This is where our friend, the Move It mod, comes in. We just like that, one, like that. There we go. You've got on and off. Perfect, and I big round bear. A round bear. With that. That's nice and chunky enough. At least that will be able to support traffic into here. I don't know, maybe here can be dealt with by another road connection, so you get lots and lots of road connection. That's the main plan anyway. Obviously, once I've unlocked both ways, this stuff, I'll just upgrade all of this with the same stuff, so you can't zone onto it. But I won't be zoning onto this anyway. So, firstly, now go across and we pick the small four lane, or I have a four lane. With a median. So I'm going to be upgrading it to four lane with tram tracks later on. If I don't have to adjust the actual road size, that might be better. Like speed of 50 compared to a speed of 50. Because this is small. And that one is bigger. So I'll go with that one because it's a bigger road. I think the one I am going to uh, going to be in dark first. Scroll through and I go. There you go. See, four lane four lane road with tram tracks. That's the vanilla one. It does exist. I have a, a modded one that I may. Use. But yes, it's this road size. So yeah. Hopefully, I won't need to do any road resizing. Because if I plug a service onto it and then go to upgrade the road and it's a bigger road, you can't do it. You have to pay to then move the service. and It's a bleeding faff. So, the first little residential area can be right down in here, right? What are we going to do? Is we're going to take a straight bit. We go for free form. We're going to just sort of loop this. Excuse me, game. Why, if why you do that? Okay, I've had this before where the game just does weird things. Like that. Just, okay. You know what? <laughs> you. 
you can now go straight. Now you can start swerving around. Got a nice big curve in there. That. You don't want to go too mad, but as you can see, this is probably going to run all the way around here. Up along the coastline, and then connect back into here. And then I can take smaller roads off of this to make my areas. But for the time being, I'll run out of money if I carry on building that. I've probably built too much already. What we're now going to do... I'm going to get rid of that. Because so what we've got is in my local area. I might as well explain it now. My general idea. The local area of England that I am in. The largest road in our town normally runs is a dual carriageway. This is what the, 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 the high speed parts of the town are. You then go down to a road like this. That's your bog standard two-lane road. Then when you get into your residential areas, the bits that your actual houses are built next to, it's more sort of a two-lane alley. As it says, high alley suitable for neighbourhood traffic. Go. That's the basic version of it. Obviously, when I get decorations, I'll upgrade with decorations cycle lanes and weird things like that but for now right at the start we've got this let's put in put in a little spurt like that and We've only got a housing demand. I'm thinking now, probably hear the cogs going. A little swirly thing. These roads are going to go squerving all over the shop, but time being. Before I completely run out of money, I'm going to put some houses. But I should also, I don't have this. So I can't theme it quite yet until I've got 900 population. Now then, finally, now I've actually got where I'm starting, we can go back to water. Turn that on so I can actually see pipes. Let's say, start here. Like one along there. One along there like that. Onto that road and then this. Connect like that. There. Lovely. Right. Turn that off. So I'm going to need power. About yeah. up to there. Equally, I'm going to need one from there to there. Another one from there to there. It's a fair chunk of money, but hopefully, obviously, as this expands, I can remove these because the power will be chaining through all the residential that's going to be along here. Yeah. yeah, obviously, you don't really want to be close, but that's just going to be swept in. Yeah, nice brand poop water. Everybody loves it. They don't. You know. Necessities. And here we are. Right. We are now starting. And I'm not really going to do much other than 
zone in what I need until I start making money. I'll be careful. I almost lost my uh, my learning save by building too much at the start. Learn my lesson. Don't build too much. Got to get your money in. Oh, oh yeah. Another thing. I have so much availability. I can crank the budget down. What about pal? Shop. You are at least given You are at least given budget control straight at the start. And at least save some money. How's the power? <coughs> I'm still producing two megawatts. Going right, from eight to two. Fine. And water availability. Fine. That's good. Well, we've thrown all this little lot in. And we hemorrhage money. Activate anytime soon. Perhaps, maybe, you know, they're complaining about sewage. Not operating. Game. Why are you doing this game? Why? I'm not going to pause it again, but there should be. Stuff coming out of there. That's connected. All the blinky lights say it's all connected. We're getting input. Output. It says it's treating it. Sewage production. Yeah. Just not, you know, animating it. Okay. Let's just. Don't pause. Zone in a little bit extra. Gonna need some industrial. Right, here we go. Here's the next bit. Uh, we're gonna have a straight line coming from there. Right out. That far will do. And we will slip down to standard roads. That's 10 units. Then we go 20 units. 530. Road straight down the middle. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to pause that. I need to now feed water from here right right dab down the middle there we go right they're gonna be happy zone in a little bit I might as well just zone in the entire. I'm also going to need to get power to on top. Let's take a spur from there. Up to there. Over there. Into there. That'll do. That'll get them power. Right, the next thing I need to do, before I go any further, I need more of this. Down. Go down here. Let's 
swirl around a bit more. We'll connect up somewhere further over here. Doesn't matter whether it looks. Uh, never mind. You. Yeah, I'm going to make you connect the way I wanted you to connect, whether you like it or not, game. There we go. See, little squirvy road. I don't know why. Just I like squirvy, squirvy roads. Everything doesn't have to be, you know, straight and boxy. Lots of thumpy noises while I place all this stuff down. Don't need it paused anymore. And what I can do is put in a bit more of that for them. There we go. Oh. Yeah, the, the early stages are a bit boring. Just sort of building it up. Generally. Once I'm established, it'll be nice. I can put in entire districts and then build it up, prettyfy it. But at the early stages, I don't want to run out of money. An industrial industry over there for them to pop up. And hopefully I can start making money. But what normally happens is to make more money, I need to grow. Really have road this close? Never mind. What we're going to do is swervy, swervy, swervy. Pull that one in. I mean, at some point, I should actually make you know, a normal one. Yeah, one of these normal sections, not all swervy to all hell. Still losing money. Ended the. This is when you do pause. It's when you haven't extended your uh, you haven't extended your pipe net properly. You go. Whoops! Sorry, chaps. Quite mean to do that. There we go. Normally, I'd be following the roads, but I think in this stage, I'll only follow these roads and these roads. These ones can go to hell. Yes, I like the swerviness, and when you pull back, once they're all populated, they do look kind of good. But not when they haven't been populated. <clears throat> all this weird terrain deforming. The uh, intriguing to watch, anyway. No. You're fine. No. I'm amazed that building didn't delete itself. <clears throat> but, fine. Or. Ah! Right. Yes, of course. We are out of power. Pull that back up to 100%. I figured I shouldn't have been messing around with the budget for electricity too much because I'm using wind power and you don't get much headroom. I'm consuming three, but I'll be producing eight. That's fine. Fine. Have plenty of power. <clears throat> See, there we go. Plenty of power. Lovely. Oh, and off. Okay, I need... 
More homes. More homes demanded. Right. All the homes. Oh, it did delete itself. I was wondering whether it would. Here we are, right. Oh, we'll have a tiny little house just there. Just for the lols. And I'm about to go into the red. Oh, this could be a um, a really big fail. At least I managed to get another road in, so I've got more expansion. But I don't have much more expansion room. Oh, goody. I hope I don't have to buy any, you know, power plants or anything soon. Otherwise I am going to be up the proverbial creek without a paddle. Oops, a few more places that can pop up here. So some over here. Not much demand, but that's because I have zoning to meet the demand. Let's just zone another chunk over here, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have it connected to here. Like that. They can attach to this road, this road, and this one. Not this one. We don't want people gumming up this path. There we go. That's all nice. Uh, I might as well leave it on this mode, because then I can see how much or how little of the zoned space I have. And it's at this point we stick it into fast forward. Because this is going to take a while. Oh, I'm almost out of cash, but I'm generating. And... Minus. Well, I can't do anything now, but there's plenty of people coming in. At least zoning you can do for free. <clears throat> well, um, what can I say? We are now positive. We are making money. There we go. I didn't manage to fail in the first episode, and I also failed to remove those. How could I have not spotted that? After all this time, they were just sitting there, just like... <clears throat> I'm blind at times, don't I? Perfectly legitimate thing. I am blind as a bat. I, I, you could come say, oh, well, it, it's because you're trying to commentate as well as play the game, but my commentary isn't that good anyway, so. Oh, we're going to need some more. There you go. Ah, right, we are, in actual fact, out of power. This is what I had feared, and I do not have enough to buy a wind turbine. Should have gone for a coal power plant at the start, but... Oh, that's convenient. I think this gives you a uh, boost of money. On the flip side, it does now mean I need to deal with garbage, healthcare, and education. Oh, goody. But it did give me a boost of money. Now, do I invest all of that money into a coal power plant that I can then remove later on? How much power do I need? Oh, I need a little bit more. All right, well, what are we going to do? Pull this up so I get the wind. Put one in there. 
I'm actually going to put two in. At the rate at which I, I will be expanding. Yeah, it's long. What about water? Right, well, the water budget needs to go up. Shit. We'll stick that up to 75%. There we go. That should keep that going a little bit longer. So, I don't have much in the way of money, as in, I can't afford squat. That's the next thing I'm going to have to save up for, a recycling centre. Because they will start complaining about that if I don't deal with it. Like, I'd love to deal with it, I don't have the money. Got a bit more zoning in there. Zone in a little bit more here. There's still more housing spaces. But yes, I am going to need to. Oh, well, actually, that can just connect onto this road. Yeah. And also sort of looped it. Maybe, sort of, perhaps. I will definitely plan things out a little bit more. But generally at this early stage, I can't really put in any major plans. I mean, I could say, right, this is going to be a chunk gap. Then there'll be another chunk down in there. And a, and a riverside section. Chunks I'm going to build, um, build up. They are starting to complain. Oh goody. Well, there we go. With the complaints already rolling in about the lack of garbage pickup, which is inevitable, I may very well have to take out a loan at the start of next episode to fix this. But we will next time continue slowly building up until I can start unlocking some of the interesting things that I need. Have enough money that once I've put in all the services, I can then actually start building the things I want to build. Like properly laid out residential area rather than this kind of mishmash just to get me started. But, uh, yes, with that, thank you for watching, and until next time, this is JC, out.